Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. I have got one of the new big sets from the summer release of 2016 here today to build with you. This is the Lego Friends Performance School. Look at it, it comes with a bus, a yellow school bus. This will be so cool to play around with the Lego Friends in it. It's got three mini dolls, if you just glance at them. Look at that bus down there, it opens up. We're gonna build it, it's gonna be so awesome. It's a big box, it's quite a heavy box, so there must be lots and lots of pieces in here. So let's open it up and we'll start building. So what do we have? We've got lots of blue rectangles, eight bags, right? So lots in there and two books, oh, shiny stickers. Two books, one big one, one little one. We're ready to go. So the first of the mini dolls is Andrea. She's got on her nice bright orange skirt and she's wearing a shirt that I've seen, well, a top that I've seen from the Popstar series. So this must be sort of an extension of the Popstar stuff. What do you think? She looks good. She comes with no accessories whatsoever. So that's just Andrea. There we go. She's dressed and ready for school. And Noah as well in his three quarter cargo pants and his little, uh, his sweat top. But we got, I've got two Noah tops in this. That's just weird. I don't know why I ended up with an extra Noah top. That's new and unusual. I've never ever had that happen before. <laughs> uh, there we go. There's Noah's hedgehog head with a little bit of fluff in it. I'll just get rid of that fluff. Good. He's dressed. He's ready. Come and stand over here next to Andrea. No, 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 not there, next to Andrea, that's it. Good on you, Noah. And there's a third mini doll in here. I have pinched her out of the second bag. This is Iva, who is the dance teacher. And I've seen her top too in the pop star series. Maybe, I think Livy was wearing it in one of them and one of the girls were recycling the pop star tops. <laughs> And a new hair mold for the Lego Friends girls, uh, not for the mini dolls themselves, because you might recognize this hair, not in black, it's just a new color. This is the same hair mold as Anna, you know, Anna from Frozen. So it's now in black for Iva, the dance teacher, all up in a bun with a braid. It looks lovely. They're all ready. They're ready to go off to performance school. So if you move over here, thank you, we can start with the first part of the build. So let's see what we've got first. Looks like it might be a table if we've got little legs here. Let's check it out. No, oh, not a table maybe. It seems to have a little hook off the side and well, it looks a bit like the, the picnic table we saw in the school set, but only with seats on one side. What's this? We're putting a megaphone piece on with a speaker. Uh, okay, so there's a big speaker attaching to the side and can we sit at it? No, because oops, keeps popping up. So it's definitely not a table. It must be <laughs> little viewing seats or bleachers to sit on to watch. Watch all the action that's going on out in the schoolyard. Hmm, all right, you can sit there and watch while we build a table. <laughs> Very definitely a table. And let's put some snacks on here for lunchtime. So there's a carton of milk and a watermelon slice, one of the new watermelon slices and Hmm, a sandwich with some red filling. Maybe jam sandwich, maybe a ham sandwich, maybe a bologna sandwich. <laughs> I don't know, you'll just have to use your imagination. And this, well, I think we can probably guess from the shape. Uh, we've just put a little viewer on the side and a light on the top and a lens on the front. You're right, it is a video camera on a tripod so that they can do videoing of all their performances. Let's put it up at the right eye height for Andrea. There we go, and she can video Ivor and Noah sitting up here on the bleachers, not doing very much. That would be the most boring video ever because they're just sitting, staring off into space. <laughs> okay, what's next? We have some lights and a, a pole or a stand. Ah, it's a microphone stand. This is nice, it's a little performance stage and Andrea can stand there and sing. This might be slightly more interesting to, to video. <laughs> There, and what are you doing, Noah? No, Noah, <laughs> yeah, there's always one in every crowd. Yeah, he's trying to photobomb, well, video bomb the video. Okay, let's move you all out of the way, Andrea. Go and sit down and behave yourself while we build the next piece. Oh, I see what this is going to be. This is going to help Noah and all the students get their energy out during break time. They can go out and play a bit of basketball, a touch of basketball. 
There we go. And there's the orange basketball, which goes straight through. Noah, would you like to try this out? Go and grab the basketball. Okay, ready and good work. Slam dunk or just, I don't know, hole in one. No, that's a golfing term. Yep, Andrea would like a go now. Yep, okay, go, go, go. And yay, well done, Andrea. And we've lost the ball. <laughs> no, we haven't. I'm sure it's here somewhere. I'll go and look for it. Now, <laughs> if you remember, you may have seen it in the school set. Oh no, I've pulled his head off. The basket was so big, we could stick the mini dolls through it. We could slam dunk the mini dolls. Do you know what though? I don't know if they've changed the size, if Lego's changed the size of the basket to make it a bit smaller, or whether I've just become more incompetent <laughs> trying to get things through the basket. But Noah didn't fit through there without his head being ripped off. And that would be incredible. Oh, there we go. There we go. He just went through. No, Andrea's not going through though. I wonder if it's smaller. I'm going to have to go and get the other basketball hoop from the school set and compare them and see whether that one is bigger. Because I would swear they went through so much easier. <laughs> it's such a huge hoop still though. All right, so there are the little pieces done. It is time to start building the school bus, this iconic old fashioned style school bus. Now, because it is, well, the school bus that we all recognize as a school bus, it is bright yellow. You're not gonna miss that on a rainy day. Well, you might miss it if you don't run fast enough, but you won't miss seeing it, seeing that you've missed it. <laughs> Gosh, that doesn't make any sense at all. Okay, <laughs> it also gets some nice little pieces here in the Lego Friends colors with aqua and pink and lavender. And there's space at the back here for two people to sit and for the next one for two more people to sit and a spot in the front for the driver. So Miss Iva here is going to be our driver. And now we're up to bag number two and there's a lot of yellow, bright yellow in that as well. It's an orangey yellow. So let's keep building this school bus up. We've got the steering wheel on now for Miss Iva to drive the bus. Her arms don't quite reach, but oh, maybe she'll just stretch far enough when she needs to. <laughs> we got to use our imagination with this because that's what playing is all about. So on the front now we need a grill, our grill on the front. Very nice. And a hood as well, the bonnet and a Mr. Piece. Now it should fit nicely. Very good. And we need an enormous hinged door. There's the hinge so that they can get in and out of the bus. So that's the beginning of it. Noah is going to have to put his hand up if he's going to be able to sit in there, otherwise there's no room. And lots and lots of windows. No glass in these windows. Hi Andrea. <laughs> there they all are, lining along the side. All the bugs are going to fly in straight into your mouth. No, they're not. There's a windscreen on there. More windows. It's looking good. There's our door. Now we need to build all around the top and on the front here, oh, there's so many cute things on this. Gonna have some lights at the top. And I've missed a piece again. That's why they don't line up. Let's get all these purple flat bits off. See, I just missed one big long yellow one. There, now they all line up properly. So we have all these smooth pieces along the top because we're gonna be putting on a roof Actually, this isn't the roof yet. We'll do the roof in a moment. What is this? Looks like it's got lights on it. Oh, this is going to be on the back. There's the number plate. It says shine on, shine on little stars there and the brake lights. And on this little hook here, we've got this sign. Do you know what this is? Yes, there we go. It's the little sign that you stick out when, when everybody's, well, when the bus is stopping. So we know that it's stopping. And a sign that says school bus, it's a shiny sign, a shiny reflective sign goes on the front. And there are those lights that I was telling you about, little red ones on either side. This is looking excellent. A nice little rounded top there. Now we get the, the roof on. So we're gonna be able to easily remove this roof. 
It's a nice simple design. Doesn't need to be fancy really, it's just a school bus roof. And we can put it on here, it just clicks in on those black pieces at the front and we can easily take it off as well. So we can get them in and out because it's a bit hard just with the door. Now we need some wheels, four wheels logically. One, two, three, four, four wheels and our school bus is ready. Check it out. Oop, off they go. <laughs> round and round. Oh, the, oh, you run into you run into the basketball net and you've knocked over the very expensive camera. Wow, no, that's because Miss Ivor's hands don't reach the actual steering wheel. <laughs> and we can take the roof off and open the door out to get everybody out. There, that's brilliant. I love the school bus. <laughs> that's so cool. We're now up to bag number three and it's time to start building the actual performance school itself. So let's go. So we have the first two of these blue rectangles. They make the floors and the roofs of all of our rooms in here. Here's our front entryway we're making. Andrea is standing in the middle to show us some perspective. And there are the stairs, the steps up into the front door. So this is the whole length of the school. We've done the whole floor plan here and now we're just putting the walls in. And on this wall we have a sticker with, let's have a look, some serviettes and a clock and a jug and some salt and pepper maybe. So that must be for the canteen. Excellent, so that room over there is gonna be the canteen. And we got, we've got a lot of windows in this set. So we need 10 of these tall ones. What are we up to, is that five? I can't, I don't know, I've stopped, missed, lost count. <laughs> I'll, I'll stop when I run out of tall ones to build. So one, two, three, four, five on this side, and one, two, three, four, five on the other side. And they're not the right height to look out of. <laughs> Let's continue on this entryway and snap all of these windows into place. And on the top of the tall windows are some little tiny windows. So five on one side, five on the other side, and they all have glass in them, or well, plastic in them, plastic glass. And I've missed a bit down there under that column. Now we're snapping them on, fix that bit up there too. There, more work on the entryway. There are a couple of little arches. And some interesting ways to make columns in this. Okay, we're up to bag number four. And you probably saw there's a bit more color in there. This is cool, the smoky glass entry on either side of the door and this door is new to me this is an awesome door look at it it's smoky glass with a gold button gold button a gold handle on it and inside we have some more archways but we're still building up the top the actual building itself is quite complicated but it's very simple in design on the outside when you finish it so all the flat pieces so that we can take the next level off if we want to. Lots and lots of flat ones. Couple of connectors, some little scrolls and curlicues. And the next sticker which is the actual performance school sign. And it's got a treble clef and a microphone, film clip and a minor microphone and a ballet dancer. So that's very clever. It's been done with the letters of school. That's cool. All right, the first piece of furniture inside the school is well, there's a little cash register and our hot dog the new hot dog bread with the sausage in it it's very simple there's not too much on it there we go it's for the canteen and do you know what that's all that goes into the canteen that's it this is a very simplified version of a school not a lot of detail in it there's a little seat that you can sit on and over on the side here Oh, you can sit on if you <laughs> don't keep falling off. On the side here are some grey bricks. They're going to be lockers, I think. There we go. There are the lockers, locker doors. And we need some stickers on. Some performance school stickers. And there they are. And one connecting piece for the top. And then that's it. So that room's finished too. There really is not much in these rooms. We're up to bag number five. All of the building goes into that building itself. 
Uh, okay, so bathroom, we've got a medicine cabinet door and a toilet roll and a towel. So it's good news, there will be a bathroom in the performance school, so you're not gonna have to hold on until you get home. <laughs> and a toilet. Oh, she can't sit on that very easily. Her hair's too big. Okay. That's not my favorite design of toilet. It doesn't fit very well. And the sink, quite a high sink there. And some more of the fancy structure here. Oh, we need a toilet door, of course, first. For boys and girls. And more windows. Windows, windows, windows. It's all about windows. So there's the bathroom. That's complete now. Not much in there. You only need a sink and a toilet. And a little table here in this room. And on the table is... What is on there? It's a little computer with an editing program on it. So this is where they can go to edit their film footage. They don't get a chair though. <laughs> so they're going to have to stand up while they're editing their, editing their footage. So I hope they can do it quickly. Otherwise their little legs are going to get tired. <laughs> right, more walls. <laughs> more little scrolls. More flat pieces on the top. There, see? So Andrea can stand here and edit while we take this up and install it on the second level of our school. And now we're up to bag number six. So there's not a lot in these rooms. So we're going to build the next room. More windows. And this one has a sticker with, uh, okay, two staves and they're going to be coming in here to learn some music theory or maybe to learn a song that they're going to perform. More windows. I'm sure I've said more windows a lot because there are lots of windows. <laughs> Did you get that? <laughs> more little scrolls. More little flat pieces. And some brown bricks inside because we are going to put some desks and chairs on. This place for two desks, two students at this school. Noah looks like he's looking out the window. Ivor can stand here and teach. And the only accessory that comes with this whole set is a book. <laughs> One book. And we're going to install this up here on the second level. Noah, you can stay in your seat. Andrea can stand here. So that's the second level done. We're up to bag number seven. And another floor. Yet another one of these blue, <laughs> blue rectangular floors. More windows, more curlicues, more tan bricks. Oh, that's new. It's a little arched window. So we're on the top. I'm trying to figure out what design, what style this building is supposed to be in. Is it Art Deco or Art Nouveau? It's obviously designed to have been a very old building that they're using now for a performance school. Ah, now we have a drum kit. There's a speaker on the wall. We've got a hi-hat and cymbals and a bass drum. Oh, actually, I'm sorry, a snare drum. Hopefully she'll get some drumsticks soon. We get one grey spot here because we can also install the microphone stage here so they can practice. Ah, here are the drumsticks. Excellent. And this goes right up the top. It's a lovely design. The school is a lovely design, but it's just not very interesting to build. We're up to bag number eight, the last bag. And more windows, more scrolls. <laughs> and this is Miss Ivor's room. So she's going to stand in here and wait patiently while we put it together. This is, in my opinion, the most interesting room out of the lot. This is the rehearsal studio. And it connects on to the music rehearsal studio. This is the movement studio. So there's a mirror. The mirror for the ballet or the warm-up area. Where you can check your feet and your arm positions. And a spot for the bar, for a ballet bar. You can gently rest their hands on there. Can't do anything with their legs because their legs are stuck together. <laughs> We're going to have to pretend. And my favourite little feature, a little piano. A little old-fashioned, upright, brown rehearsal studio piano. <laughs> and the music stand up there, and we can put it over there. So, Noah could come in here, no seat for you. He can play the piano, no, I'm wrong, hold on, there is a stool, the first stool, <laughs> the only stool in the whole set. 
<laughs> apart from the, the school stools, I suppose. <laughs> so you do get to sit down while you play the piano, which is good. And this guy's up here next to the music room. So they can warm up and then they can go over and they can do their music as well. So that's it. That's all of it. There is not much in these rooms at all. You're going to have to use your imagination. You can mix and match things and you can move them inside and outside and add lots of things into it as well. But the camera here is what it's all about really for your filming. So they have to rehearse. So let's see. Let's get these students into school. We'll see what they get up to. <laughs> so here we are, beginning of the performance school day. They've arrived here in the good old yellow school bus. It looks like Andrea has remembered to bring her music book, but Noah's forgotten his. Ah oh, well, all right, out of the bus and inside we go. Noah, you can't stop to play basketball yet. You've got some work to do first. So we can store the things we need in the locker. Not much room in the locker and there's only one of them. Ah uh, dear. All right, upstairs, going to learn some music theory first, learn the song they're going to perform. This Ivor here is doing all the jobs. <laughs> and they're going to warm their bodies up first, do some stretching. Noah's got his hand delicately balanced on the bar there while Andrea stretches her arms out. And now they're doing some music practice. <laughs> Noah's on the piano and Andrea is singing, of course, and Miss Ivor's playing the drums. And before they do their recording, they're going to stop for a snack out in the yard. So many delicious things to eat. All right, it's recording time. It's performance time. Here we go. Oh, look, and Andrea is going to do a piano solo while she's singing as well. That's great. Noah's doing a great job of videoing. And now they're going to record some of their movement elements while they're singing. <laughs> they're incorporating the basketball hoop into it as well. <laughs> some acrobatics maybe. Uh, definitely some acrobatics. Don't know that it's safe to be up there. <laughs> Miss Ivor is busy recording it all. <laughs> and after they've finished recording it all, they're going to need to edit all the footage as well before they can make their final product. And Noah seems to be having a sleep in the schoolroom. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh well, I tell you what, there are a few pieces in here that I love. It's going to be a fun set that we can mix and match with, so I'm going to have to see what I can do with this performance school. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Do subscribe please and click like. Check out some of my other silly videos and I'm going to see you for a new one very, very soon.